Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is our Tuesday tune-up, but uh, full disclosure, as I record this video, it is actually Ash Wednesday. I uh, just completed the 7 a.m. service, and I haven't got to prepare yet for the noontime service, but it's given me some quiet time to do some prayer and to start my Lenten discipline. And it occurred to me that many of you might be casting about wondering what you should be doing for a Lenten discipline. Are you giving something up, which is completely fine? Or are you adding something new, or perhaps you're doing a bit of both? I want to speak this morning not so much on the giving things up, because you all know how that works. Uh, it's intended to be sacrificial. It's, uh, it's really not intended to be a weight loss plan, but there are some nice side effects from that. Uh, instead, today I want to talk about doing something else, which is adding a new discipline. I hear a lot from people because of the way I dress. Uh, people will sheepishly admit to me, you know what, Father, um, I hate to admit it, but I've never actually read the Bible. To which I typically respond, that's okay, I haven't either. Now, before you get concerned and start writing letters to the bishop, what I mean by that is I have never sat down and opened the Bible to Genesis page 1 and read entirely through the Bible until I get to the end of Revelation. Uh, the Bible really isn't meant to do that. For one thing you need to understand, the Bible is not a book. It is a collection of books. The Bible is, is really a library of different books, and each of those books we we call different chapters, right? We have we have Genesis, we have Exodus, we have Deuteronomy, we have Mark's Gospel, we have Matthew's Gospel, we have Acts of the Apostles, we have the letters to the Corinthians, and all and all of these are are individual books within the Bible. So don't beat yourself up if you haven't started with Genesis 1 and read all the way through for there is opportunity for you here. I want to suggest to you the idea that you may want to add some scripture and some meditation to your Lenten discipline. Let me give you a little passage from Luke, and then we'll talk about what that means. This is from the Message Translation. It's Luke 11. One day he was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said, Master, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. So he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, reveal who you are. Set the world right. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. Keep us safe from ourselves and the devil. Then he said, imagine what would happen if you went to a friend in the middle of the night and said, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. An old friend traveling through just showed up, and I don't have a thing on hand. The friend would answer from bed, don't bother me. The door's locked. My children and I are all bedded down for the night. I can't get up to give you anything. But let me tell you, even if he won't get up because he's a friend, if you stand your ground knocking and waking all the neighbors, he'll finally get up and get you whatever you need. Here's what I'm saying. Ask and you'll get Seek and you'll find, knock and the door will open. Seek and you'll find. That's going to be our theme. Before we get too deep into that, though, that was what we know as the Lord's Prayer in a bit of a different format. And that's one of the things I want to talk about this morning is the idea of using different translations to help us look at familiar scriptures and familiar prayers with a new set of eyes. The translation that I just read to you wouldn't probably feel like, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, right? It's a little bit different, and yet it's translating the very same verse. So using, using the different translations gives us a way to contemplate things in a different manner. So, to your potential Lenten discipline, my friends. Here's what I'm going to suggest to you. If you're casting about, and the Bible seems like this 
really big, difficult book from, from which to begin, let me, give you a, let me give you a little way to begin, okay? Pick one of the Psalms. Book of Psalms is, is in the Bible. It's also, if you don't have a Bible at home, well, if you don't, let me know and I can help you with that. But if you don't and you have a Book of Common Prayer, the entire Psalm book is in the Book of Common Prayer too. Pick a Psalm. It could be one that you're familiar with. It could be the 23rd Psalm. It could be Psalm 100. You could start with Psalm 1. All of these are good ways to go. Before you begin, though, this is, this is how you start your discipline. I'm going to commend to you first thing in the morning. Now you're going to say, well, wait a minute, Rick, my day is kind of crazy, and, I, and I'm up at 6, and then I, I get a breakfast and the kids and work. I understand all that. Get up 15 minutes earlier, just for Lent. Trust me, this might be worth your while. Get up 15 minutes earlier when it's quiet, Take your prayer book. Before you even open the book or the Bible, pray to God and say, God, help me understand what you would have me learn from this. Be with me. Pour your spirit upon me. I'm going to seek, Lord. Help me find. See the way we tied the scripture in there? And then read that passage of Psalm and read it every single day for a week and just ponder and meditate for a few moments on what that scripture is saying to you about your life today in our world. Don't worry so much about what the world was like back then. Instead, try to focus on what you can learn from that scripture in your life today. What does it say to you? Now, don't be upset if it doesn't say anything to you on day one or day two, keep at it. Persistence. That was the other piece of this scripture, right? You knock on your friend's door and ask him for something, and he says, go away, go away, go away. Eventually, through persistence, you get what you want. Scripture study is the same way. Be persistent. Every day, begin with a prayer, asking God to open that scripture to you and reveal to you what God wants you to learn and read that psalm again and again. It may help, if you're having trouble, to vary the translation. Now, how do you do that? Well, there's lots of things on the internet that help you with that. The one I use all the time is called Bible Gateway, BibleGateway.com. You can select the scripture passage, you can say Psalm 1, and then you can select which translation you want to read. Give that a try and see if that changes things a little bit for you. But be persistent, be open to the idea that God definitely has a plan for you, and the scriptures are the way that God will help you understand that plan and that wisdom. This is an interesting Lenten discipline. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of your time. Begin each day, 15 minutes, with this study and this prayer and this meditation. I think you may find yourself surprised at the results of it. One way or another, keep me posted. Let me know how this is going for you. Be persistent, be open, and be willing to commit to this discipline for these 40 days of Lent for self-examination, prayer, and that's kind of what Lent is about. All right. Blessings upon you as you begin your Lenten journey, my friends. God bless you. God love you. We'll see you again.